The object of Taxi Chronicles is to allow real riders with real stories, share their experience and enhance your life. So sit back and enjoy the journey. Morning, morning, morning. Yes, we're back with another episode, another rider. Today we have Sarah and Simai on the way to a lovely christening. And Sarah has a sunglasses business looking very cool with her sunglasses. And we're oh, yes. interested <laughs> to see how she got started, why she got started, and what motivates you, her. So nice to have you here today, Sarah. Good morning. So, why sunglasses? Oh, so I, I actually live in Dubai. I'm here for the summer. So in Dubai, we sunglasses is an everyday thing all year round. Therefore, being in Dubai, it was hard to, when looking for sunglasses, it was hard. For, I found it hard to find the sunglasses with the type of styles that I want. Growing up in the UK, you know, we had a certain type of fashion that is different in Dubai. So I did find it hard. And then um, I, for a good year, I knew that I wanted to start a business, but I didn't know what it was. And I knew that it had to be something that I had genuine interest in. And then one day I walked into a sunglasses shop and just had a light bulb moment <laughs> and then it just went from there really. Mm. I, and your light bulb moment was? I am going to have a, open a sunglass, start a sunglasses business, basically. So you saw there was a need for what you wanted? Literally. It was a need for myself personally yeah. and my friends had told me that they were experiencing the same thing. Now, in saying that, what's the difference between Dubai style and the British style? Dubai, with sunglasses, it's either very simple classic looks or it's quite over the top in terms of they're very blingy okay. out there. So, whereas out here in the UK, you know, we have like more like trendy, chic, it's all, you know, quite a variation. Therefore, the sunglasses out there wouldn't go, I, my personal opinion, it wouldn't go with all types of outfits. Because it's, if, it, if it's very blingy, then you're not, you know, you're not wearing that to work or to, it won't go with certain outfits. If you're, I don't know, going to Shoreditch, you're not going to wear that there, the sunglasses from there because it's a completely different style kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So, what was the process? Talk us through the process in you starting up this company. Ooh, we had we. to consider, I know you're a business lady at heart, you're a business consultant, so you can throw some of that in there. It, first of all, it was research. Because it's, okay, I'm going to do this, but how? <laughs> you know, where do I start? How do I do it? Can I even do it? So, on, on a personal note, it was more of a, I had to learn how to trust myself and actually believe that I can do it. Because a lot of people want to do things but don't actually believe that they can achieve it which then you know if the fear factor then will stop you from achieving what it is that you want to achieve so I had to learn how to just to believe in myself and to believe that I can achieve it so it wasn't instead of it being like can I do it I had to just think of no how can I do it so once I just thought of how can I do it I started doing research speaking to friends who had businesses of their own joined some business groups, did a business course, uh, ended up getting a mentor who I still have. And How did you get the mentor? How did you source this mentor? To be honest, uh, I don't know if you guys know Bianca Miller and Byron. They're, they're based out here in London. They're a young black couple who are both entrepreneurs individually and together. And so I've, I've been following Bianca for years. And then I realized that when I seen, you know, a couple of her posts, I saw that she's actually been, she has a mentorship program, her and Byron run it together. So I was like, great, perfect. You know, being a young black woman myself, I felt like it's so good to be able to see someone who looks like myself, young as well, from London, you know, similar backgrounds to, that are doing it. So even that in itself, like I said about the fear factor in itself, seeing people that look like yourself, doing it just helps you along the way because it's not easy you know there's a lot of days when you think oh can I actually do this you know you want to give up <laughs> it's not all fun and games so seeing people that look like myself really you know being able to achieve it really definitely helps and I suppose there's quite a few other people on the men, uh, on the course yeah so th there are other uh, young black individuals like myself 
doing it. So then we, you know, there's, it's a support group as well as it's not only are Bianca and Byron mentoring us, but you have the your other peers supporting each other, giving each other advice. We have you get an accountability partner mm-hmm. from one one of your other peers will be your accountability partner. So then, even outside of the mentoring, you you guys will have your weekly meetings where you just support and encourage each other and hold each other accountable basically which also really helps so this going into this bianca and byron byron mm. that's then they just that's just their name if somebody says search them on social media social media it'd just be B- bianca and byron yep if you if you even if you google bianca and byron you'll they will definitely come up but bianca millet she was on the dragon's den a few years back okay she sorry it wasn't dragon's den what's on with lord sugar I don't know. The apprenticeship, thank you. Okay. <laughs> That's what she was on a few years back. And the mentorship program is called Self Made. Self Made. Yeah. Okay. But literally, if you Google their names, they, they will come up. Was it expensive? See, that's perception is everything because Go on. some people may say it's expensive, but if you're getting more out of it, and then is it expensive? Do you know I what I mean? I understand what you're saying. I did a course uh, that was 3K. Yeah. And people thought, oh, that's a lot of money. But by the end of the, before the end of the course finished, mm-hmm. this guy made 33K. You see? <laughs> from doing the course, and the course hadn't even finished. So yeah. That was like a thing. So, um, right, put it this way. What was the fee at the time? Do you remember? How much did I pay? Jesus. Oh, so you can... There's different packages. Yep. So if you pay, you know, the fee all in one, then it will be one price. If it if you pay monthly, then it's going to be a bit more. Jesus, how much was it? Uh, about. I'm trying to think. I want to say was it around? It's under two k. Okay. Well, two. That's okay. As long as yeah, people got an, an idea. What have you learned from Oof. being in this business that you wish you knew when you had started? Oh. Boy, Oof, I'm trying to think. I mean, first of all, anything can be done. It's networking. Oh my God, networking. I know people say this, but and I knew it, but literally, network, network, network. Like, if you don't know people, like how I said, how am I going to do it? You know, the more people you meet, the more people that can help you. And I know that sounds like selfish or whatever, but I can also help them in a way, you know? And even if you feel like somebody can't help you now, in the future, you guys, you know, whether they can't help you directly, they can lead, you know, put you through to someone who can help you or whatever it is. But networking is really important and community. If it wasn't for my, you know, the business groups, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be where I am. I wouldn't, I don't think I'd even believe that I could do it if it wasn't for the business groups mm. just seeing other people doing it and just encouraging each other the, yeah the community part of it is for me it's probably the biggest part that's helped me mm. if I'm being honest so people everyone thinks they can do th- oh you can't do it all on your own <laughs> mm. either because I wanted to do it on my own for so long in the beginning and wasn't getting it all done mm. it, it was impossible what's the name of your site your company Saz Shades so the website is www.sazshades.com on Instagram yeah it's at Saz Shades so literally S-A-Z Shades in one word okay that's good that's good because the links will always be down below when people are okay perfect (laughs) and that kind of thing we're hashtag you in (laughs) so yeah Saz Shades we're selling even though I am in Dubai we sell in the UK, across Europe, and in the UAE as well, in Dubai, so. Okay, that's great. What makes you different from other companies? Well, like I said, in terms of, you know, the styles, mm-hmm. I I have a, it's like an infusion of Dubai luxury and UK fashion, so the trendiness of, you know, the, the different styles within the UK but it's also merged with that kind of luxury type look mm-hmm. I'd say so you don't just get one mm. I take it you're in your 20s I wish Is it? I'm 33 look, years old but you thank you, you. Very young. <laughs> what would you say to your 16 year old self oh you can do it whatever you want you can do it 
That is literally what I would say to myself. And what would be your advice to a young person who's entering, wants to go into the self-made business? What would be your advice? Believe in yourself, number one. There are, there are help everywhere. It's just, it's not about if you can do it, you can do anything you want. It's just about how can I do it and where can I find the help? And don't try to do it all on your own. Do not be afraid to ask for help because it literally takes a village. Community is everything, yeah. but you can do it, whatever it is. That's good. To, yeah. <laughs> how, long, how many years have you been going for? We started officially beginning of 2020. Mm -hmm. COVID didn't help, <laughs> but uh, so I'd say last year it just started picking up. Started picking up. Yeah, so it's still very new. Well, you see, you <laughs> seem established and it's that steady growth. Definitely. Of, of the oak tree rather than a rapid growth. Definitely. And there will be times when it just seems like nothing is happening and, you know, it's just, there's a lot of days where you'll be like, oh, screw this, should I give up? Like, you know, I tried, but you just can't give up. You just got to keep going. There's high times, there's low times, but it's, it's worth it in the end. And I still have to tell myself this, by the way, I know I'm sitting here saying this all, but I have to remind myself this on a daily basis because especially being, you know, on your own, it's hard. I don't have a business partner. So it's, I don't have that person to push me when I'm not motiv not feeling motivated. Have you ever considered getting a business partner? I have, I have. But, well, it's not a but, it's just about knowing people and, and knowing how, you know, who, who I can work with, basically. Who shares the vision? That, basically, yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> exactly. I've, I've found that you need, in business, you need to get people who share the vision and who would be there regardless of the finance. This is it. And are happy to put finance in as well. And who's hungry, like really hungry? Because unless you're really hungry, it's going to be easy to give up. Yeah. You know. So it's yeah. I'm still I'm still trying to figure that part out. But um, so that's why it's even more important the community part for me, with the mentorship program and just the having peers, like-minded people around me, just to give me that extra push that I need on days where I'm not feeling as motivated as I could, you know. What does the future hold for Seth? Ooh, yeah. hopefully the aim is to go global. You know, we, I just want to be, I guess, customers all over the world, you know. Just keep growing, keep growing, and just get the name out there and more and more people running around with sachets on, really. <laughs> the people who are your suppliers, is that based in China? Yeah. Yep. How do you find dealing with quality control? So I've uh, stories of... Gosh. Uh, <laughs> in the beginning it was hard because, you know, you have to do samples, samples, samples. So, you know, you can look at a picture, but that's... I've definitely learned that pictures are not always what it seems. And then looking at pictures can't... Even if it does look like it, how does it... You know, you need to feel it, you need to... Sure touch it and just you know just texture exactly and and how sturdy is it as well you know things like that that we wouldn't naturally think about but and then reliable reliable manufacturers <laughs> not easy again I've been through quite a few and you know it's it, it's it's been a challenge that's for sure and I'm, I'm still going through it you know you, you can't just have one because I thought oh, I'd get one person and just you know just use them and it'll be fine. But what if that person, oh, that, yeah. that company, fails me in one way? You know whether they mean it or not, but or just can't supply. You know, so I've learned to try and have a few different suppliers, but just trying to form the relationships with them is in itself. You know, it's hard when they're not all trustworthy. <laughs> but you know, there are some really good ones who I've been really pleasantly surprised and have been going back to them. So it's, it's because I'm not there and I can't just go in person and just quickly check it out. It, that also kills a lot of time. So when I have, you know, if summer's coming up, I want to have, you know, spring, you know, my glasses ready out in spring. It's going to take a good few months of just getting samples and, you know, from the different suppliers and then going back and forth with the design aspect. But yeah, it's... Did you have to fly out to China at any time? Uh, I wanted to, but because of COVID, China is... It's, a lockdown. Yeah, basically. Getting into the country is almost impossible right now. Mm -hmm. 
basically. There's a lot of video calls. Yes, a lot of video calls. Video calling is just literally, thank God for technology because... It makes life a lot easier. Oh my goodness. None of this would be possible without it, okay. honestly. So yeah, it's literally a lot of video calls, a lot of sending things back and forth. Mm. Uh, but yeah, it's, mm. it's challenging, but it's worth it when you have the good days and you know, mm -hmm. you then see the end product and when you get feedback from customers, then it's like, oh, okay, all the stress was worth it. Oh yeah, yeah, because the customers are the are the be all and end all. Of, Literally, of yeah. Your product result. Literally, I could love it, but if people don't love it, then do you know what I mean? Okay, I hear. That's good. You've been a great guest. We're coming to the end of the journey. Okay, <laughs> thank you. What, what I would say is, at Taxi Chronicles, we believe in sharing a gift. You've done that. We appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, my last question to you is this. If the world's standing in front of you, mm -hmm. the 7.5 billion people, well. no pressure, and they want to know what you have to say about word of advice for life. For based, life? Yeah, based on Ooh. your life experience. What would you say to them? Ooh, life. Trust the process, I would say. Trust the process. For those who are religious, God's got you. For those of you who ain't, I guess, the God's, universe. God's still got you. <laughs> but yeah, trust the process. It will all work out. You just have to believe it. Okay. Well, thanks a lot for that. Can you just remind people where they can find you? Again? Okay, so Saz Shades, S A Z Shades, S H A D E S. Instagram at Saz Shades, TikTok at Saz Shades, and. On the website, Google www.sashades.com. Okay, thanks a lot for that, and we wish you well. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> we hope that episode enhanced your life. We post an interview every day, as well as vlogging on our social media channel. Don't forget to subscribe to get our latest episode.